Hi everyone, this is David. I've been asked several times what's the best way to align page numbers on your table of contents. So I'm going to show you a method that I use that seems to work pretty well. Here you see a table of contents that is finished except for the page numbers. The first thing you want to do is to get the leaders, those are the dots, going from left to right, aligned as much to the right as you can. In order to do this, I first go to Insert, and then choose Shapes, and then choose Line. And I draw a vertical line beside the leaders. Holding down Shift will give you a straight line. Now once I have that line positioned about where I want it, I take a look at the leaders and see which ones come up short, which ones are too long. Here, this one's too long, so I'm going to delete one leader. This one's a little long, it's touching the line on the right, so I delete a leader. And so you can add or delete leaders in order to get them lined up pretty well on the right hand side. Once that's done, you delete the line, go to Insert again, this time to Text Box, and go down to Draw Text Box. So I'm going to draw a text box to the right here alongside the leaders. And once that text box is in, the next thing I do is to make sure that I've got the same font and font size. For example, this is Calibri 12 point, so I check the box and make sure that that's going to have Calibri 12 point as well. Now the next thing I do is to select the box and go up to the size dialog launcher window. And in that dialog box, I click on text box and change all of the internal margins to zero. And this gives me full control over being able to put my page numbers close to the leaders. As you see, that cursor now is blinking on the far left edge of the text box. So I begin typing in my numbers using my enter key to single space or double space. So I put in my page numbers. These have two. The next set will begin on three. Continue on four, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now once I have the page numbers in, I can play around with the text box and make sure that the page numbers are lined up exactly the way I want them. So with the text box highlighted, I hold down the control key and use the arrows on my keyboard to get those numbers lined up exactly the way that I want them. Then of course I need to take out the outline by clicking on Shape Outline and selecting No Outline. Then I select the text box again, hold down the control key, and use my arrows to align up my page numbers exactly. There you go. That looks pretty good.